salvation you know almost all of us we all have people that we're believing God for I want to break the ice a little bit and I want to I want to encourage you as people have done in our past two services look at how many people lifted up prayer requests for friends or family members who they're believing that would come to know God you know we're believing that we're believing that we're going to see an anointing and outpouring of salvation in this place as we move into 2011, that many people's lives are going to be changed, that 20 people per service are going to come to know the Lord, or 20 people per weekend are going to come to know the Lord. And many of those are going to be your friends, your family members, those who you bring, those who you're praying for. I want to encourage you during this next song to make your way out of your seats and come up here. We place index cards all over the front of the altar. Write down the name or names of those people that you're believing God for. Spend a moment on your knees praying and interceding for them and asking God to touch their lives. If you need to, if the altars are full, just stand back here for a minute. If someone finishes writing theirs down, you can come up. But let's, let's just you know lift up all those names unto God at the end of that section. We'll go ahead and we'll pray over all those. We'll stand in agreement that those people will be saved. So as they begin to play, please make your way out of your seats. Come write down the names of those loved ones who you're believing would come to know Christ. Deliverer, you brought us out of the miry clay. Set our feet upon a rock and you made us say. Holy is the Lord You would declare the thoughts about us one by one It'd be too many to count So we simply come And sing of your great love And so we sing We lift our hands and sing Song of an ending love. You are the hope, the bright and morning star. You are the lover of our soul, and you want our heart. Sing of your great love. So we sing. So we sing. Come on, lift your hands. Lift your hands.
Señor y ayudor Father, we thank you for saving us. We thank you for delivering us, Lord God. We thank you for healing us and bringing us hope and transforming our lives. And today we come to you with more specific prayers. Lord, this box is full of the names of people that we love. And Father, we're praying and asking you that this year that they would come to know you during the course of the end of this year and into 2011, that the names that are written on those index cards would be names that would be written in the Lamb's book of life, Lord God, that they would come to know you, that they would serve you all the days of their life, that they would make a declaration that you are Lord and King over their lives. So we're praying for that breakthrough. We're praying for that anointing to be released. And Lord, we come persistently, Lord God. I know for me, I've been praying for my mom and dad for 18 years. There's a Bible that sits on my bookshelf in my office that remains unopened. And Lord, I'm not going to give up until I see them come to know you, Lord God. I'm not going to give up. I'm going to keep praying. I'm going to keep asking. I'm going to keep believing with expectancy that it's going to come and it's going to come swiftly. Would you put circumstances into their life that would draw them to a place of repentance, that would draw them to a place of humility, Lord God, that would draw them to a place where they're ready to surrender their lives to you? If it not be by us that you use to create a relationship with you, Lord, would you put the right people in their path that would speak the words that could only come from you, that would draw them into that relationship, Lord? We don't care how they come to know you, Lord God. We just care that they come to know you and that there, there would be lives today that would be rescued from going to hell, that would be going to heaven today, Lord God. Father, we just thank you in advance for what you're doing and what you're about to do. So we lift up the names of all those who are on those cards today and we ask you to move in their lives and bring them to a point of salvation. We transition to our next prayer topic, which is really a couple fold, one of 
asking God to release an Elijah-type anointing into the lives of the people of Journey Church. And here's what we want to do during this one. You might be here today, and there's a couple groups of people that we want to pray very specifically for. You might be here today, and there's unanswered prayers in your life. You've been asking God for something, maybe in the area of your finances, in the area of relationship, in the area of physical healing. You've been asking God for it, but it has not come yet. And you're like, God, why has this not come to realization yet? Lord, I need an answer. Would you help me? Would you give me wisdom? Would you give me discernment? Would you help me in this area of my life? We have cards that remain up there. I want to challenge you. If that's you and you're waiting on the Lord for something, use those same cards. Go up there and get on your knees. Write down what that thing is that you need that answered prayer for. Write it down. Put it in the God box. And then we're going to stand in agreement with that as well. But if you're here today and you're believing God for a next level, a supernatural anointing to be on your life, that God would release miracle working power in and through you as he did in the life of Elijah. Remember the cool stuff that Elijah got to do? I mean, he prayed and it stopped raining. He prayed and people got risen from the dead. He prayed and food was multiplied for the salvation of others. God had a powerful anointing on his life and he wants to release that kind of anointing into your life. Even this weekend, people have received their prayer language for the first time. God is doing supernatural and mighty things in the midst of this. If you need healing, come up here. We want to join hands personally with you and lay hands on you and believe God for an impartation of his spirit into your life, an impartation of power, of healing, of wisdom. So if you're looking for more of God in your life, if you're yearning for more of Him, I want to challenge you. You can't stay in your seat sometimes to get that. You need to get up. You need to move. You need to show God, like go after the hem of His garment today. Go up there and write it down. Kneel by yourself. Take communion. Or there'll be people up here who would gladly link arm in arm with you and pray and stand in faith, believe in God for whatever it is that you're going through. So they've got this one final song, then we're going to have a rapid fire prayer time, and then we're going to pray for the kids. So if you would, as they sing, feel free to come to the front. Rise up, everybody. Holy desire. As I said, if you need prayer, we're here for you. Space in time. 